Hey guys, I just want to talk about the Cowboys losing. I am a Cowboys fan. I love the Cowboys. I cherish them. I hope they do the best that they can. But la yesterday was the breaking point for me. Actually, this whole year was the breaking point for me about how the Cowboys lost the championship. Now, I was kind of upset when I when I saw that Cowboys lost, and I was kind of thinking to myself, actually, I'm glad they lost. Here's why. I'm glad they lost because we do not deserve to play in the playoffs. We don't. We don't deserve to go to Super Bowl. We deserve to be out of the Super Bowl, to be out of the playoffs, just because we need to get our act straight Jerry Jones needs to get his attitude readjusted, need to put his ego aside, or get the hell out of heck, sorry, excuse my mouth, excuse my language, heck out of Cowboys Nation. Jason Garrett needs to be fired. Um, offensive coordinator, Kellen Moore, needs to be fired. I, he was good for three weeks. First three weeks, he was good. But here's the thing. They didn't use Ezekiel Elliott that much. Holy crap, my thing is about to, like, fall. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyways, they don't, don't deserve to... Um, no, they... Uh, what, what was I on? Yes. Sorry. Uh, so they didn't use Ezekiel Elliott. They said, oh, yeah, we're just going to pass. We're just a passing league, you know. Yes, Dak Prescott is good. He is good. I'm not, I'm not burying him. He should get his money paid. Uh, but Dak Prescott can't do it all. He can't. That's why you have Ezekiel Elliott. You have, uh... Tony, you have a good two good backers. One that you spent about five year extension about uh I can't remember, but it was the most money, most paid running back. You spent all that money on him and yet you don't use him a lot. He the, he gets most fifteen carries. Per game. Per game. And we haven't won against any winning team. So as far as I'm concerned, we don't deserve to go to the playoffs. I'm hoping it would be awesome. It would be cool to have another playoff run. But I don't want to win on luck. I don't want to win on one play where it's like, oh, they messed up. So... Uh, we got in the end zone. Or we won that game by luck. Now the Giants are our only hope for going in the playoffs? I don't like that one bit. If they didn't win that game yesterday, then they don't deserve to be going in the playoffs. Eagles deserve it. Because Eagles played a better game than Dallas. I love Cowboys, but Jason Garrett has to go. Jerry Jones has to go. Offensive coordinator has to go. Simple as that. I would rather have Tony Romo as my coach or quarterback coach or offensive coordinator or GM. He knows a lot about football. Well, probably not GM. GM. That we're getting too far. <laughs> we're getting too far ahead of our, my, uh, myself. Um, but anyways, that's... That is the most bogus uh, gameplay we can ever, like, we ever done. Like, that was poor. Just, I was embarrassed. And I don't want to get embarrassed by somebody, uh, if we go to the playoffs, I don't want to get embarrassed by teams better than us to win. You know? I don't like it. Uh, and... As far as Stephen A. Smith goes, 
I hope this goes viral. I really do. Can you help me this go viral so I can talk to Stephen A. Smith? So I can tell him that not all cowboys are like, oh, we're going to go to Super Bowl. Next year we're going to go to Super Bowl. No, we are not going to Super Bowl unless we fix all the stuff. On paper, we're good. But on the field, we are terrible. This terrible coach decision decisions, terrible gameplay, and Dak needs to uh, work out his accuracy or wait for the play to go because we have an offensive line. We have the weapons. We have a running back. Why don't we use it to our full advantage? Stephen A. Smith, I'm sorry. I'm not like those Cowboy fans that say, oh, we're going to Super Bowl. You know we're going to Super Bowl. And they're blind over the fact that we are not doing so good. We don't deserve to go to the Super Bowl. We don't go deserve to be in the playoffs to go to the Super Bowl. We need to get our team fixed first, and then we can be proud of our Cowboys. Until then, Cowboys, I don't want them to go in the Super I don't want them to go to the playoffs. Now, if they got their act straight, maybe if they win a game, if they win, like, go to the championship title or the Super Bowl, then I would change my attitude. But my attitude is they need to stay out of this Super Bowl. They need to stay out the playoffs, stay out of the Super Bowl, and fix up their mistakes, fire a few people, bring a few people on, and then we'll hit it next year, one game at a time. That's it. It's a one game at a time, one play at a time, one moment at a time. Not just like, oh, we're thinking about going to the Super Bowl. No. We don't need to be go thinking about going to the Super Bowl. We need to think about one play at a time. We need to think about offseason. What are we going to do to on the offseason to make our team better? What are we going to do in the draft to make our team better? What deals do we need to make to make our team better? That's the hard questions that we need to answer during the offseason. And then we can worry about the games and game plays. So, if this thing goes viral, I hope Stephen A. Smith gets this. I really do. Just because... This, not all Cowboy fans. I'm not all the Cowboys fans. I love Stephen A. Smith. I like Stephen A. Smith. He talks about hard truth facts. But not all Cowboy fans are like that. I'm not like that. So have a happy holiday, guys. Um, have a Merry Christmas. Have a Happy New Year's. Keep in there. We are going to get... This cowboy stuff is going to get fixed out. So hopefully nobody's going to be mad at me just because I'm telling you the truth of I'm not a Cowboys fan because I am a Cowboys fan. I will stick by my Cowboys. I will be a Cowboys fan for my rest of my life. But we need to look at the facts. We need to look at the hard-hitting facts. We are not good. We're good on paper, but we're not good on the field when you fix that. All right, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Have, have a happy holidays.